Hey, what's up guys? Fisherman Jay here. And today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make deer jerk. So today, y'all can see I got, this is the deer meat already cut up and already preserved it in the freezer. Here's some I'm about to cut up. Got some big chunks. This is all deer. Then this is not killed with my own deer. Virgo, you're going to be using Worcester sauce, steak sauce, soy sauce. Alright, so I don't know how much I'm going to use. But let's just go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to add in. Worcester, Worcester, add that in there. And a little bit of that. Try to fill the bottom up. Next, we're gonna add steak sauce. And last, not least, soy sauce. This makes it really good. This will add, mix everything together, add it all up. Which we do. And a spoon. And it makes like a nice, good, Cooking sauce. It is delicious. Uh -huh. Now we got all the meat. Then we got this bag of meat. This has all the big pieces. That's a big piece of meat right there. I'm gonna try to get as much deer jerky as possible out of this. Now to keep in mind, I'm gonna let all this marinate overnight for like eight hours. Plus, I'm going hunting in the morning. So when I get home back from hunting, it should be ready to throw in the oven or dehydrator and cook. So you see, what you do is just take it and cut thin slices. So now that you got it, I slice that piece up into a quarter inch thick. Now if you have a meat slicer, it would cut it a lot thinner, but I'm doing all this with a regular knife. These pieces, I can probably cut these a lot thinner, but right now it's fine. So once you got that, you want to take them. Toss them in the sauce. That piece. These. Keep it. Now I'm gonna do this big piece, and I'll show y'all what happened. I'm gonna try to cut the the angle, so like that, and then I can get big piece out of it. So I'll get back to y'all when I'm done with this piece. So you can see that I got the thin piece right there. Let's see, you got your meat right here. You wanna take it? Put your hand on top. Right there, thin. Take it. Bam. Good thin old piece. You see, right here, nice and thin, load in there. Deer jerky. Just give me some more. Right now I'm trying to get the big pieces done. So I'll do the same thing for this big piece of meat. And it really helps to cut it whenever you freeze it some. Because it makes the eat a, it makes the meat a lot easier to cut. And then I'll take this one. So right now the side. It's a thick piece. Mm 
my diesel ships. It really helps when you have a sharp knife to do this. Cause then it just like slices right through it. See, then you get these long, slim pieces like you would whenever you grind it up and put it in a, that little tube that you buy from Walmart. And make sure it's lined up. Slice it, get it perfectly there. Yeah, just keep doing that over and over. Until I'm done with this, I'll have a nice big batch of deer jerky. When you're making deer jerky, you never want to have little deer jerky. You always want to have a lot. Because when you make little, you always eating it fast. When you make a lot, it lasts a lot longer. Yeah. The way I do it, I have a dehydrator, but it takes too much time and my experience the dehydrator isn't that big doesn't make it that good but i use mine in the oven i just put my oven on 350 and let them cook for about i let them cook for about 20 minutes take them out flip them put them in there for 15 more minutes take them out and they're perfect so if you want to give that a try i really suggest it because it makes it really good like I said, you're gonna take this, keep slicing it. I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. Because I'm back. And when I did, I ended up taking it and cutting that piece in half to where I would just take it and get two little square strip, just like this. I just took it, flipped it over, and I sliced through it, threw it down. I line it, took it, look at that, and bam, you get these little pieces that are perfect, same thing with this side, take it, bam, so now you got these little pieces, you just take those, hold them good, slice, slice, slice. See, it gives you the little thin pieces like that. Take it, throw it in there. Try to get one more slice on this. That ain't my fingertips. Throw it in there. You got another small piece, take it. Slice. Slice. That will give you three pieces. That's a good piece. Slice. Slice. Three good pieces. Now, I'm going to take it. Cut this big old piece up. Okay, that one. Cut this big old thick piece of meat. Look at that. Now you can do it two ways. You can do it that way. You can take it and do it that way. So this piece is still kind of frozen. So now that is perfect. Look at that. Nice. Oh, it's just thinnest dang blade. That's pretty good. I guess we're going to do it that way.
a couple big pieces, a couple small pieces. So you got that piece left, still got that piece left, still got these pieces left, still got that piece left, still got that piece left, and uh, yeah. That's all. So I'm gonna get back to you whenever I got all this turned in to this. And tomorrow, hopefully, I get a deer tomorrow morning so I can make a skinning video. So I'll get back to y'all when I got all this chopped up. This is the bad pieces. And I still got all this to cut up. These thick pieces of meat. So all these. And I already got this. I got this medium sized bowl filled to the rim. So, wash my hands off. And yes, the water is dirty because that's where I had the deer soaking at. When I was getting ready to cut it up, all water is not that dirty. Trust me, look at this. Right. So, I'm going to have to find another bowl. I think. I just use this big one so I can take it, mix it all together. Let's transfer all that. So you now take it, mix it up. Make sure every single little piece is covered. You see, already got a crap ton of deer turkey. All right, I'll get back to y'all. So you can see. Got it in there. Everything, everything's soaking. And that'll be safe. We're just going to take it. Add a little bit more sauce in it. Just on the safe side. There we go. Take it. It all up. Make sure. I take it. Get your hands off. Take. Put a plate over it. And maybe put it in the Whoops, my bad. Put it in the freezer. Now you, now you usually want to let deer jerky marinate in sauce for eight, seven to eight hours. It will make it where the jerky sucks up and like sucks up most of that seasoning in it. Every piece of bite will have so much flavor in it, not even funny. So I'll get back to y'all in the morning. All right, so it's morning. As you can see, my dog carrying something. All right, so I've been letting it marinate for about eight hours now. So let's get it out. That was good. As you can see, oh, all that juice is in there. All of it's marinated, none of it's red no more. All of it is perfect. So, I'm gonna show y'all how to how I make it in the oven. So let's get started. Here's a better view of it. You can see all this was pink, but now it's all 
brown, stuff like that. The color of the season. So this is perfect. So now let's go ahead and start cooking. Alright, so you do take your cookie sheet, baking sheet. And what I do is I use tin foil and I wrap the tin foil around it so the deer meat don't stick to it. Take some rental wrap. You have that just aluminum foil. Send the deer meat up there to line up and everything. So like that. I'll get back to I'll get back to y'all whenever I'm done doing this pan. So you can see I'm done with it. Pieces, I only have a couple pieces. I still got all that left to go. So I'm gonna do pieces up here and a couple more pieces. That one. You guys see I got the oven heat at the 350. So let's go ahead and finish this. As you can see, I'm putting it up. I put both of them up. Now I'm going to have a timer for 20 minutes. Mm hmm. Timer set. Now I'll get back in on 20 minutes. As you can see, I'm also going to be using the dehydrator to, to do some of that. Yeah. First, I'm going to wash these trays off. I'm going to wash them well. So the timer just went off and then there for 20 minutes. See how that smoke. We'll turn that on. So now I'm gonna get them out or we'll flip them over. Oh no.
treadmill for. I'm also making some on the dehydrator too. So you see I'm working on that. I'll get back to y'all whenever that's done for a few minutes when I'm done putting all this all the deer on that putting it on the dehydrator alright so you can see that's the last plate but all of these Come back in about an hour or two and check those. These are almost done. They got three minutes left and I think they'll be done. Now comes the fun part, having to wash dishes. So I'll get back to y'all. Alright. And you can see that we already have a little bit that already came out. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the rest, if it's done. You see all these are nice perfect pieces. Alright, I'll get back to y'all when the rest are done. 